In this video, I'll show you the pros and cons of type hints. What are some of the ways that type hints help? First, type hints can help you catch certain types of errors. This you already saw as we demonstrated MyPy in the last video and how it allows you to catch type errors in your own code. And removing those errors goes a long way to helping you with debugging. Type hints help to document your code. Traditionally, you would use doc strings if you wanted to document the expected types of a function's arguments. This works as a documentation tool, but as there is no standard for doc strings, they can't be easily used for automatic checking. Type hints also provide a certain amount of readability that they're included right within the function as it's written out. And this form of documentation is not only useful for yourself and your future self, but especially if you're gonna share that project with a team or if it's possibly gonna be part of an open source project. Type hints are gonna improve the functionality inside of many IDEs and linters. This will enhance the ability for that IDE to do code completion and for it to offer suggestions. You've seen this in a couple different places, such as as I was showing you inside of PyCharm. You might have also noticed it when I was using Visual Studio Code. And even in the REPL replacement B Python, you might have noticed it. Type hints also help you build and maintain a cleaner architecture. The act of writing these type hints forces you to think about the types in your program. While the dynamic nature of Python is one of its great assets, being conscious about relying on duct typing, overloaded methods, or multiple return types is a good thing. So what are some of the downsides of type hints? Well, it's gonna take you as a developer more time and effort to add these. In the end, it probably will pay off in spending less time debugging, but you will be spending more time entering in your code. Type hints work best in modern Python. As you'll see in an upcoming video, type comments were available in Python 2.7, but improvements like annotations were only introduced into Python 3, and the idea of using them for type hints is something that happened in 3.5. And more advanced features, such as variable annotations and postpone evaluation, work best in Python 3.6 or even 3.7. There are links below this video to give you more information about those topics. And type hints introduce a slight penalty in startup time, especially if importing the typing module. In general, it's a small hit. Something to keep in mind, type hints are not an all or nothing deal. Python supports the concept of gradual typing. What that means is that as you're writing your code, you can introduce your types as you go. Any code without type hints will be ignored by the checker. It makes sense to add type hints to critical components first. And note, adding types will have no effect on the running of your program. Your program runs the same. So here's a few rules of thumb. If you're just beginning to learn Python, you can safely wait until you have more experience before you start adding type hints to your code. Type hints are gonna add much value to short or throwaway scripts. And then on the other hand, in libraries that will be used by others, especially if you're gonna be published on PyPI, type hints are gonna add a lot of value. Other code that are using your libraries need these type hints to be properly type checked themselves. For examples of some of the projects that are using type hints already, see the links in the text below this video. And definitely with bigger projects, type hints help you understand how types flow through your code, and they're highly recommended. In his article, The State of Type Hints in Python, Bernat Gabor recommends, Type hints should be used whenever unit tests are worth writing. Type hints play a similar role as tests in your code. They help you as a developer write better code. In the next video, you'll go much further into type hints with the discussion of annotations.